I made three videos in one month. I haven't made three videos in a whole year, in a long time. Hello? Um, whoa, echo. Hello? Hello? There's a huge echo coming from over there. I'm probably heard by the whole neighborhood, which is about three people. Hello, how are you? You okay? I'm not gonna stand here and just complain about all of the weird times we're in and the strange ways we're all being affected by it. By the way, if you're watching this in the future, it's currently May of 2020. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, that's now. And we're all being affected in different ways, you know? Like, I'm living in a house with other human beings, so I guess I've got that. But yeah, I, I guess I feel quite lonely. I'm sure everyone else is in the same boat, and that's why there's no point in um, complaining about it. But I don't know, everyone's got their own shit to deal with at the moment. School is over for me forever, um, and I won't have to do my exams. So yeah, that's a good thing. That means my gap year has begun, unexpectedly. And I'm grateful for this time where I can't do anything because I've realised how much I don't want to live like this in the next year where I won't have anything that I have to do. Blah, blah, blah. This isn't even what I was going to talk about. Yeah, I made, I made three videos and you liked them, which was nice. Um, Pilgrim's Tale and This Is My Swamp. I got loads of positive feedback. I actually got loads of personal like messages and texts from friends and family um, saying that they liked it, which is really nice. You know, it's, it's, it's a very personal kind of thing and I, I was very grateful for that. Um, that said, you know, comments do help out with the algorithm if you want people to, if you want other people to see the videos. Um, Pilgrim's Tale sort of came from, I, I was just listening to like, Irish folk songs that were really just lovely. They're, they're comical and they're poetic and the way they tell a story I just really enjoyed and I thought, oh, what if I do this? And it gives me an excuse to make music because I love making music but I very rarely um, produce things like that. And that song had no electronic uh, instruments in it, which was the first for me. Just me playing those instruments. Which is great fun. Then I made that video about the swamp, which is, um, you know, we all find places that we feel comfortable and we like being alone. Um, that's that was mine. I found it on a walk, and I was like, whoa, it's lovely. And for those of you saying it's a pond, but well, it might be a pond. I don't know what the definition of swamp is. Should I Google definition of swamp? Well, I've looked into it, and I think my swamp fits both of these definitions. So. I don't know where to stand. Maybe I need to get some sort of professional body of water is to decipher it for me. And spoons. Um, spoons. I don't know if you find um, this kind of talk interesting, but I quite like talking about the creative process because it gives the um, outcome more resonance. I don't know. I always find that when I listen to other people talk about where their stuff comes from, it, it feels more sort of special. And Spoons is a special one for me because I made it for me. And if anyone else liked it, that would just be a bonus. Which is a, a new healthy attitude to creating things. Spoons came from, uh, I was just playing piano in my room, looking out the window, and I was playing this little tune, the one you hear in the beginning of the film. Film. It's, it's a video. I called it a short film, um, just so it has that kind of wistful tone. I don't know. It's just a very simple melody that's played in both hands, uh, but slightly apart from each other. It's um, a third down. Anyway, just the, the fact that the melody was, um, it, they were both playing the same melody, but slightly apart, but together. It kind of just felt like a really close friendship where there's a mutual understanding that doesn't need to be expressed, like verbally. I don't know. So then I wrote, a short little screenplay based on that about two um, two stuffed animals originally 
just sitting by the fire, having a slow, kind of meaningless conversation. You know when you're comfortable with somebody and you don't really need to say everything. Like a lot more is said than is said. I don't know. And then it gets a little bit existential. But also kind of accepting the inexplicable. Which I really like stuff that does that. Where it's like, you know, we don't have the answer. And that's what makes this moment beautiful. Uh, I don't know if that makes sense. But that's kind of what I wanted to portray in Spoons. Why are they spoons? I was waiting for dinner and I was playing with spoons and I thought, ah, oh, they have no facial expressions. That means they can be thinking whatever you want them to think. <laughs> I'm not going crazy, I promise. I promise. Yeah. Yeah, I might be going crazy. That's what I'm doing now. I am just... An idea pops into my head. Boom. Uh, normally I'd be like, oh, hello idea. What? What are you on about? That's strange. No one will like that. And the idea goes, Wah! Um, and then ne nothing ever gets done. But now it goes, idea in my head, boop, and, I, and I get a net and go, I've got you. And then the idea is like, no, I'm not good enough. No, no. And I just take it in and I just, um, okay, the metaphor's run out. I just work on the idea. And it feels good when people like it. And it's okay if people don't. But I've got to admit, it feels good when people say, well done, Ben. And that's just, that's just life. I can't value myself on things like that, where people go, oh, that one was good, Ben, you're good at this. Um, I find it hard not to because it's just natural to do that and I, I'm trying to step away from it because that means I will sort of rely on that feedback a little bit too much and then I will have, yet again, this kind of bar that I've set for myself that I wouldn't be able to surpass. So I'm, I'm approaching this in a sort of more healthy way because I want to make content that I really like and if other people like it, that should be the bonus, not the goal. This is very self-indulgent. I don't know if you find this interesting or not, but I'm a, I don't have anyone to talk to, so uh, it's you now. I started watching some of my old videos, like a few years old, and I realized that I've incidentally created an entire time capsule of my life even though I'm I've made very little like from age 11 until age 17 that that's a huge amount of growth and I've inadvertently sort of captured my transition into well from this into this I watched some videos like my Barcelona vlog which I don't think I've watched since I uploaded it Ooh. Oh, I'm such a nostalgia junkie, you know? There are people in that video that I'm not even friends with anymore. And, yeah, that, that hurts a little bit to see. I've been making videos for a very long time. Not all of you will know that because a lot of you will be more recent. This YouTube channel is very special to me. I guess that's because it has captured me in all different kind of forms. And I didn't think that's what I was doing, but I think that's what I was doing. You know, in, in those videos, I don't explicitly talk about my life outside of the videos, but there are little snippets that I'd be like, oh, that's what, that's where I was at that time. That's how I was feeling. I was so much less insecure when I was 14. And I'd forgotten about that. That was nice. <laughs> I know, I know this video is a little bit me, myself and I, but um, we all must be a bit like that now because we're, we just are with ourselves and we either have a chance to learn all about ourselves or become repulsed and terrified by ourselves. I've experienced all three, I think, just because if you're in your own head all the time, you see the best and the worst of yourself. You don't notice yourself changing until you are face to face with what you used to be. How can you see yourself in one way if you have uh, video evidence of you being just different? <laughs> That's because people are malleable. We're not just one thing. That's nice to know, I suppose. There are, there are parts of our character that might be intrinsic to our identity. I watched video. I watched my old videos, and 
I have to remind myself that it's me. In some, some people's cases, it might be they reach a certain age and be like, whoa, I remember that. Was that me? Whoa. Whereas I can just go, here is exactly what personality I had when I was 12 years old. <laughs> anyway, this video, this is not what I thought this video would be about. I was just going to talk about, I don't even know, okay? I just want to say hello. Hello! <laughs> I miss my friends, and I miss being a person. Um, yeah. Hey, at least it's sunny. But if you're having a not great time, don't worry. Because it'll be over soon. Just think of all the parties after this. My god. It will be... Tasty. How do you end a video like this? After talking about all that stuff. I guess you just do this. Ah!